92.7, my name is Kelvin Owusuanta. Let's give thanks to Mega 6 Lotto for making this possible. Six numbers can change your life with Mega 6 Lotto. What would you do if you won 1 million Ghana cities today with only 49 numbers to choose from? Mega 6 Lotto is offering you the opportunity to win big and mega with them. Lots of exciting prizes are waiting you. Don't play. Uh, bef- don't forget to play before 5 p.m. every Monday to Saturday. Dial star 266 hash or download the app and Android apps on Mega6Lotto.com to play. Mega6 Lotto is approved and regulated by the National Lotteries Authority. Now let's begin from the Africa Women's Champions League uh, organized by CAF and in the maiden appearance of the CAF Women's Champions League and Pemdakwa ladies will play their first game against the champions AS Far, who are currently uh, the most dominant force when it comes to women football head coach for the team Nana Adakwa has spoken ahead of that big clash this evening at 5pm against Far. Yeah, we came here purposely for the cup. So our preparation is ongoing very well. So we are ready for the tournament. We, uh, we have two teams with they have national players, and it is going to be a tough game. But we are going to work towards that and see how we can approach the game on our training. And inshallah, definitely we are going to win the match. As far we all know that they are very good side, but Ampim Dakoa, you can't write us off. We are the champions of Wafu Zombie and we are the champions in Ghana. So we are going to have a tough match. We are going to work and beat them and go. Well, the very best of luck to the Nana Madawas Nana Dakwa, the head coach for Ampem Dakwa Women's Football Club. Now moving on, on Saturday in the Ghana Premier League, had to folk settle for a one or drawing Tamale against Karela United with uh, controversial circumstances surrounding a late-minute penalty that wasn't awarded the Phobian. So the game ended one or Hamza Issa scored his fourth goal, uh, cancelling out the opener from uh, Emmanuel Owusu Boache. Had to folk coach Martinez Kopman was Please taking a point away from Tamale. Tough game uh, from both sides. Uh, we start uh, not so good. 1-0 one, uh, one behind. I think in the second half we pick it up. And we get a little bit more fighting spirit. We need it. Uh, you can play nice football, but you know you must also have fighting spirit. And the second half was okay. On the other hand, uh, I think 1-1. One, one. You can also have a penalty, but I don't talk about the referees. Uh, so 1-1, one, one, not losing. Next game we must win. Well, in this game, they must find every way to win. Martinez Kupman, head coach for Hard to Folk there. Now to Karela United, Gaffa Shai Butanko, and he's blamed his side's wistfulness up front for their inability to back all the three points at home. Not really. Everything worked on well, except that uh, we did not take our chances. Imagine we getting a penalty at the 37th minute. Eight minutes to go, and the player wasted. So what else can I do again? But I'll keep talking to them. I mean, to, to really wake up for, 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 for the next call. They need to wake up for the next call. That is according to um, Shai Butanko, the head coach for Karela United Football Club. Now to some other results from the Ghana Premier League. Over the weekend, Legon Cities were beating two goals to nil by Mediama SC at home. There was a 1-0 victory for Brickham Chelsea over FC Summertex in Brickham. Uh, before Kotan also defeated Nations FC by one goal to nil. RTU settled for a goalless draw against Bichim United and then Heart of Lions won Ediana FC 2. Bibiani Gold Stars also drew one all against Accra Lions Football Club and at the Babaya Sports Stadium where the center of attraction was in the biggest game for the weekend. Asante Kotoko were beating one goal to nil by Dreams for Football club. Well, head coach for Asante Kotoko, Dr. Prosper Nate Ogun spoke after the disappointing loss to Dreams FC. Very disappointing. What didn't work right for Asante Kotoko today? Our finishing. You know, it's, it's, it's not good. Automatically, it's not good. You don't win, the feeling is bad. Right, so that's it. You want to say something to the fans? Oh, I mean, it's a league. We are ongoing. Um, they should still support the team. We we'll work harder and make sure that we make them proud. Well, they're going to work hard and make sure they make you proud. That is according to Prosper Natiogum. Now to Dreams FC assistant coach Winfred Dormon and he's praised his players for a very good victory in Kumasi. We scored from a brilliant, a brilliant set piece. I mean, the body shape, the, the technique, the precision was, was spot on. Then we went 
into the break. We came from the break. We made some few adjustments. We decided that we need to defend this goal and defend it. And also play more on the quick transition, which we had good moments, which we should have maybe added the second goal. But I think on the whole, it was a very, 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 very great performance from the last. From the goalkeeper, the defence, the sub that came on, the attitude on the day, the mentality was on the day was to make sure that Dreams FC win this game. Well, so that was Winfred Drummond for the first time in um, the Ghana Premier League. Dreams FC beating Kotoko at the Barbara Sports Stadium. Now moving away from the Ghana League. Uh, but Great Olympics hosting Swatcha Man this afternoon at the Accra Sports Stadium to the Africa Football League. And the first leg of the semi uh, of the final was played yesterday. As substitute, Anna Sehat was the match winner with Wedat Casablanca of Morocco edge and Mamelodi Sundowns of South Africa. Two goals to one in a gripping final football league final final first leg. Now Serrat pounced on a weak-headed clearance and unleashed the half volley that goalkeeper Ronwen Williams got a hand to but could not stop it in the Moroccan uh, capital. Now Erivaldo uh, Quetze Ongo gave without a halftime lead but that was cancelled out when Sundown's Moroccan defender Abdel Mouna Mbouti converted a penalty. Let's hear from the Masandawana head coach Rulani Mukwena after the loss. Yeah, let me just first say uh, congratulations to Widad on the win. It's only half time. Let me also congratulate my players for incredible effort, fighting spirit to come back and really try very, very, very hard. Uh, our attack was not as uh, potent and as aggressive, but okay, we take, we take the, the away goal and we move. Uh, we'll do our best. We have to win. In Pretoria, we have to win and we'll do our best to win. We, let's see. Preparation for now, we just get go, we have, have to get home, recover. Uh, drink lots of water, good rest, and uh, prepare tactically for, for the game. Well, that is it there from Rolani Mukwena, head coach for Mamelodi Sundowns. And the stage is now set for an intriguing match in Pretoria on the 12th of November with a $4 million first up prize uh, being put on the new competition by CAF. Now moving on to the Premier League, Luis Diaz came off the bank to save Liverpool from a shock defeat at Luton in a 1-0 draw on Sunday. On his first appearance since his parents were kidnapped in his native Colombia, the winger was introduced moments after Tahi Chon had given Luton a stunning lead 10 minutes from time. Diaz's soaring leap and the header 5 minutes into stoppage time denied the Hatters their first ever home win in the Premier League. Jurgen Klopp after Luis Diaz scored the match equalizer yeah i know but we have to talk about that and it's wonderful it's emotional and it's, it's fantastic but it, the, the, the real problem is not sorted because of that so it's just uh, um, we 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 want to give and he wanted as well we want to give um um Lu, Lu the, the opportunity to be a little bit distracted from uh, from the other things he cannot do nothing he's waiting all the time the whole family is waiting all the time um and so he trained out a few times with us and um and Actually, I had, after the game, I was was no, no words necessary. Just gave each other a hug. That's all. We had moments like this in the past. I understand 100. percent That's a nice story, honestly. And it, it's super positive and great for him. But these things go by. The real information we need is a different information. So um, it's that's it. That's not. It's it's anyway a, a, a really really positive thing for him. But all the other problems stay the same. Well, a very positive then for Luis Diaz. His mother was rescued within hours of a capture on the 28th of October, but the search continues for his father, Luis Manuel Diaz. The 26-year-old revealed a T-shirt saying freedom for dad after scoring again at full time. Well, we just hope that Diaz's father is quickly rescued from the kidnappers. Now to Arsenal and they lost 1-0 to Newcastle at the St. James Park. An angry Mikel Arteta shared his thoughts on a controversial Newcastle United goal that meant Arsenal suffered their first Premier League defeat of the season. Yeah, we have to talk about the result because you have to talk about how the hell this goal um, stand up and it's incredible. I feel embarrassed, but I have to be the one now coming here to try to defend the club and please ask for help because it's an absolute disgrace that this goal is allowed. It's an absolute disgrace. Why? Because it's not a goal. For many reasons, it's not a goal. For more than one reason, at least, it's not a goal. And it's too much at stake here. We put so much effort. It's so difficult to compete at this level. And it's an absolute disgrace. Again, I feel embarrassed. I've been more than 20 years in this country. And this is nowhere near the level to describe this as the best league in the world. I am sorry. Well, 
Very sorry, according to Mikel Arteta there. Now moving on after scoring his first goal of the 2023-2024 La Liga season, Ghana's Abdul Mumen was given his second consecutive start of the season against Real Madrid. He impressed, making the highest clearances 13 and one vital block to deny Real Madrid a goal against Rayo Vallecano. All impressive there from the young centre-back. And Real Madrid failed to build on their El Clasico triumph and dropped two more points in the La Liga's title race. So you look at the table, Los Blancos had to just catch up and get back on top to the league table. But unfortunately, they couldn't win their game it was a draw. So Hirona just managed to get back on top in the La Liga. Santa there. The draw leaves Real Madrid second, two points behind leaders Girona, who came from behind to defeat Osasuna and two ahead of Barcelona after the Catalans uh, had a fortunate to win over Real Sociedad on Saturday. So Barcelona ensured a 1 0 victory over Real Sociedad on Saturday. It was a very, very close shave for them as the final minute of the goal got them that finish from Ronald Araujo. Let's have a quick listen to Xavi Hernandez, the head coach for FC Barcelona. Well, I think, honestly, we suffered a lot. We suffered a lot. Maybe today we don't deserve to win, and, and last week we, we deserve to win. So football sometimes is, is unbelievable and is unfair. So today Real Sociedad uh, did really well, uh, very intense team, uh, team uh, very high pressure, very well. So we suffered. We suffered today a lot, but after we didn't play well, uh, you got three points. It's amazing for the team. Well, three points amazing for the team now. Athletic Bilbao rose to fifth in La Liga with a dramatic 3-2 win at Lowly Villarreal on Sunday. Brothers Nico and Iñaki Williams struck for Ernesto Valverde's side in the first half after Inigo Ruiz de Galareta opened the score. And as the visitors cruised the scene, they were on their way to easy victory. But Gerard Moreno pulled one back after 86 minutes and Alexander Soloth headed home immediately after to set up a nail-biting finale. So Iñaki Williams scoring once again his fifth goal of the season. Now moving on to Juventus and they kept a pace uh, with Serie A leaders Inter Milan thanks to Sunday's 1-0 win at Fiorentina in a match that was controversially played despite deadly flat. Maximiliano Allegri side are two points behind Inter after a hard fought win in Florence and um, Fabio Meretti scored his first goal for the team. Now, two AS Roma and Romelu Lukaku had to fire Roma to a stunning 2-1 win over Letty on Sunday with a stoppage tie strike, which completed an unlikely late comeback. Marino's men look set for a shocking defeat at the Olympico when Pontus Amphis netted Letty's opener in the 75th first minute but thanks to some resounding uh, goal from Sada Azmoon, Lukaku brought the house down three minutes later with a rifled finish. So that was it there. Now to Germany and in De Klasica, Harry Kane once again was on target getting a hat-trick, his third hat-trick in the German Bundesliga as in the Klasica by Munich thrash Dortmund for goals to nail. Now to VFB Stuttgart and their strong start to the Bundesliga is stolen since their top scorer, Sehu Girassi, injured himself. They lost for the second time in a row 2-0 at promoted Hayden Bem on Sunday during which they missed a penalty as well. Very unfortunate in there for uh, that is Stuttgart but they're currently losing their grip. Now back to the Premier League and on their return to Tottenham Hotspur as an opponent this time, Chelsea boss Mauricio Pochettino believes that Tottenham are Premier League contenders. And I think they are doing a fantastic job. I think Anche and, and, and the, all the coaches and staff that I know very well, they are doing a fast, fantastic job. And then, of course, uh, very good players, very good team. And of course, you can, you can feel uh, they, can, they can be a, a contender for the... It's, of course, it's early on the, on the season. But of course, they are showing the quality to be a contender. Yeah, really special because I think come back after four years, you know, in a place that we have amazing memories and we create amazing, amazing memories together. And I think it's special. I, I cannot lie. I'm not going to lie. Well, very special. He cannot lie for Ange Postecoglou. He has dismissed the talk of a title challenge for league leaders Tottenham ahead of that big London derby this evening. Yeah, no, I'm not, um, I'm not so much a dreamer, very much in, in the reality of day to day. And uh, what's important to us is, um, I thought we coped well with the challenge we had on uh, the other night. Um, but, you know, we know that there's another challenge for us Monday night. So looking beyond that doesn't really serve any purpose. Um, 
well, I said supporters, by all means, this is their football club and, you know, they've got to enjoy their football club if things are going well and, and it provides them with some hopes and and dreams and aspirations. But uh, my task is more sort of the mundane day-to-day. So that is from Poste Koglu. Kickoff is at 8 p.m. Uh, at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. It's Tottenham against Chelsea. Now, so to some tennis news, Novak Djokovic defeated Grigor Dimitrov 6 4 6 3 in Sunday's final to win a record extending seventh Paris Masters title and closing on uh, securing the year end number one after uh, being pushed uh, for uh, an eight time title. He has now captured his 40th Masters thousand title and stretching his winning run to 18 matches impressive from Novak Djokovic let's finish with some Formula 1 news and champion Max Verstappen of Red Bull denied Mercedes a third straight victory at the Formula 1 Brazilian Grand Prix taking the 17th win of the season at the Inter Lagos now Paul Sitter Verstappen got off to a great start but that meant nothing as the safety car was immediately deployed after Kevin Magnussen of Haas and Alex Albon of Williams crashed well so very impressive from Verstappen and that is how we wrap it all up today on Sunrise Sports. My name is Kelvin Oswan so thanks to Mega Sex Lotto six numbers can change your life or would you do if you won 1 million Ghana cities today with only 49 numbers to choose from you can win lots of exciting prizes play before 5 p.m. every Monday to Saturday dial star 2666 hash or download the IS and Android apps on Mega Six Lotto.com to play Mega Six Lotto is approved and regulated by the National Lotteries Authority. Sunrise continues. Johnny Hughes and the rest of the team are here. But as always, TJ Abiyam is present to serve you with some fine tunes.